Hey everyone, I'm Jeffrey and welcome back to my series where I'm creating my digital mind in Obsidian. And in this video, I'm gonna focus on linking notes. And it could be like trying to make sense out of the matrix, but if we can develop some strategies around linking them, we can create these beautiful spider webs of connectedness within our digital minds. Now that is gonna be difficult and it seems that there are just as many ways to create links within your second brain as there are people creating these systems. While there seems to be some consistency in what makes a good atomic note, everyone seems to have their own flavor to how they link them together. So in this video, I'm gonna show you my special recipe that I'm starting to create with. So let's dive in and take a closer look. So let's take a look at my guidelines for linking evergreen notes together. And in order to get the most value out of doing this, I think it's important to establish some sort of consistent process from the beginning because it can grow quite quickly and get out of hand, which could increase the resistance if you don't have sort of some sort of idea of how you want to link your notes together. And the trap that you can fall into is thinking that linking is a passive activity. You've done all the hard work, you've written the note, it just is a matter of filing it away for future use. Whereas it is really difficult to think of a good way to link your notes together. At least that's what I'm finding in the beginning. It's a very active process, but I think that's good that the more that you engage with your system as you're linking, the more you're reviewing and editing and revising old notes and thinking about all those different connections that you can make. It also serves as a spaced repetition practice because you're constantly going into those old notes and reviewing them and relearning the things that you had potentially forgotten even though you wrote them just uh, a few days or weeks ago. And really, I think the goal of all this linking is to improve the discoverability of those notes because you need to be able to find the information that you're putting in your system in order to be able to use it in the future. If it was just a pile of individual notes, that would be really hard to find and use. So a couple of things that you need to keep in mind, I think when making these links is that they should be abundant and that they need to be purposeful. If you don't have enough links, it's gonna be very hard, I think, to navigate through your system and find anything and to develop new insights because it's just going to be a sea of files that you're not gonna see any connections between. But if you have too many links, then it just becomes noise. If every file is linked to every other file, you can't find those meaningful connections between the ideas that you have and that you've cultivated. So there's a couple of uh, concepts that I wanna explore in this video for uh, note linking. And the first one is going to be using keywords in your personal knowledge management system. So the way that I'm planning on using keywords within my system can be thought of the same way as doing search engine optimization. So really focusing on discoverability over classifying the information. If I was going to be looking for this idea how would I want it to resurface? What would be the words that I would want to use to pull this note to the forefront? And a couple other things with using keywords I think to, to make note of is that you're typically only going to add them when you're first creating the note. Because these evergreen notes are atomic, the ideas are singular, they're not going to change over the lifetime of the note. So really it becomes something that you do and think about when you're first creating the note uh, to add into your system. And you can include these keywords, I think, in two places. One would be in the title of the note, which makes it easier to understand what the note might be about or if it's gonna be useful in a future context by having that keyword descriptor within the title itself, as well as adding it down into the keyword section with hashtags. So you can see, for instance, with this note, I've used the linking keyword both down as a hashtag in the keyword section, as well as using it in the title of the note. And one of the uses that I think of thinking about keywords when you're crafting these notes is that 
if the number of applicable keywords that you find is really large, like if you have five or six or 10 keywords that you want to include, well, that might be an indication that the note contains too many ideas. It contains more than one and that perhaps you should split it up into multiple notes. So let's take a look at an example of what I mean by using keywords for discoverability. So if I had the note evergreen notes are editable, I could think that, you know, evergreen notes are applicable, editing, personal knowledge management. I could go further and say second brain, digital mind, all these different things that could potentially relate to the note in question. But that's trying to think about how to classify the note in all the different buckets that it could fit within. Whereas what you really want to think about is if I was searching for something, how do I want this to resurface? So I think really in this case, the appropriate keyword is evergreen notes. Because if I was doing a search for editing, I would not find any value in having this note come to the surface. And while personal knowledge management might be applicable, I think it's too many levels removed from this note to worth having it included in the search results. So whereas linking with keywords might be more appropriate for the note crafting stage only, really note linking is a continuous process and you should be thinking about it at every stage of your workflow. So when you're creating notes, you're really thinking about that new note and what other contexts could be applicable to the note that you're creating. And if you create those in the moment while you're having those thoughts, then they'll be easier to connect up once you actually add it as a evergreen note within your system. And then when you're adding that note, you kind of cast your focus wider and start thinking about what other context you could pull in and connect to this note. I think there's a subtle difference there between where your focus lies, whether it be on the note itself that you're creating or whether it's on your system as a whole and how you can make those connections with the new note. The other way that you can make notes is when you're just wandering through your system. You can identify notes that are orphaned, that have no links about how you can start connecting them to the larger web of your digital mind, as well as just thinking about the titles, and if you have descriptive titles for your evergreen notes, then that might spark how two different ideas might be related together, and then you can start forming those uh, links at that time. And really, the links that you're really going to be creating continuously are going to be more direct links. So if I take a look at the relative strength between the different links. There's kind of two different levels. You have the soft links, which I think are those key words. It indicates that these two notes might be related. They might uh, have information about the same topic, topic, but it doesn't make that connection explicit and it doesn't give you any contact context for how they are connected. Whereas direct links are Within the body of the note itself, you're creating a specific relationship between those two ideas and providing perhaps a little bit of context of how they are connected. So notes, as you have them mature within your system, they're probably going to accrue more and more direct links over time as your digital mind uh, increases in size. Whereas, like I said, with those keywords, they're likely not going to change over the lifetime of the note. And if we look at, you know, within these notes that I've been showing here, you can see these direct links to the other notes within the system uh, are just used within the sentences that I've used to create the notes to provide a little bit of context, how they fit within each other to kind of tell a story. So I think that my approach to linking notes is probably going to grow and change the most as my system matures, as it grows larger and larger. And I would be interested to hear from people who have been stewarding and managing digital minds or second brains for a while, 
how their own systems and approaches to linking have changed over the lifetime of that system. How have they kept it usable and scalable with the number of files and notes that they contain. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you all next time. If I was searching for something on editing, editing, edit, editing, edit, edit, editing, edit, editing, editing. Oh my goodness, my words.